The YouTuber called Lisa Gaming Roblox has reportedly gone missing from all her socials since July the 24th, about three weeks ago, with many close friends in her server and associates claiming that there's a possibility that they might have used themselves, with a lot of speculation in her Discord server about her well-being. This is due to the fact that before Lisa went entirely off the grid, one of the last messages they sent was that of their several arm wounds in their arms, which was just terrible to look at. In the background of the image, you could see their Discord account being being present in the background, clearly indicating how this was actually them and not just some random image taken off of Google. They made a very ambiguous message too saying bye Yao, and to this day have still proceeded not to be online ever since. They haven't spoken to any of their close friends which is very uncharacteristic of them, and they haven't even logged into their Roblox accounts since the situation, and have completely left their Discord server. Now all of this has transpired due to reasons such as an increased doxing campaign on her, and harassment which they have been experiencing over the past few months which drove her to the point she was at on July the 24th before she went entirely offline. However, due to Lisa's actions in the past, and the amount of times they've had the opportunity to drop the trolling act, and go seek other avenues in life, this situation was partially brought onto herself. They purposely did very immoral things for attention, such as things they did to my friends and me, and made fun of my suicidality when I was in her position when I was getting doxxed. And she proceeded to literally jump on that bandwagon and make fun and light of the situation. But unlike Lisa, I'm currently taking this situation very, very, very seriously. And due to its severity and for the well-being of Lisa, I severely urge people to leave Lisa alone currently and do not harass her at all, especially in this point of time. I also wanted to make this video going over how I had nothing to do with this situation and how I'm not culpable for any of the things that have transpired as much as people would like to shift the narrative. To. Now currently at this time there is just speculation on Lisa's whereabouts. I personally think someone's sending an image of the nature that Lisa has and then proceeding to say bye to everyone and then going off the grid entirely and going radio silent for the past three weeks is extremely concerning. And to my knowledge, there has been police radio silence over the well-being of Lisa. And while personally I believe Lisa could have left the internet for her own mental well-being and is currently still alive, the thought that something horrible did transpire still remains as a possibility that we cannot brush off. And back to my original point which I made previously, I don't want to sound horrible saying this, however this is entirely truthful. Had Lisa just apologized and not purposely tried to rile up as many people as she could and continued to to fan the flames when she had the full ability to not do this multiple times, this situation would have never transpired, and it's very depressing to see how this entire situation has led up to this one point. And obviously due to contrary belief, despite all the things that Lisa has done to me and other people, I still wish her the best, and I do not condone any harassment, hate speech or bullying towards her, and of course this video is not monetized whatsoever. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, make sure to inform other people about this current situation, goodbye.